Hello and welcome back to Super Mega Baseball 4. It's time to head back home as your 500 8 and 8 Bayfront Bullets get sent to take on the 500 8 and 8 Detroit Pit Stoppers. Lily Rocket on the hill for us against Santiago. Oh man, I'm going to butcher this. Lobro. Lobro. And we're going to take a look at the lineup. No player development opportunities for us in this one. Uh, we are going to swap ourselves back to the old uh, home uniforms right here. Get ourselves back in order that way. And take a look at what's uh, going on. We got a tense day for Layla Uptown. We can sub her out maybe for a, a Molly? No. Hmm. Dustin Schaffer could pull it off, but he's not doing so great. We got issues, folks. We got lots of issues. Um, let's let's take a look around first. So we got a locked-in Cesar Jacks still, which is good to see. Sophia Coffee is doing okay. Um, Agro Peppers is fine. Everybody else is actually doing reasonably well. Uh, except for this beginning part of our lineup. So we're going to grab Trigger Fielder and sub him out and get Molly back behind the dish. I think we'll do that. And let's see what else we can do. Sophia Coffee. Can we give her kind of a day? See, nobody's... I mean, people are just going to have to play through stuff. I think that's the reality of the situation. And uh, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at their suggested lineup here and just see what happens. All right, Sophia, Agro Peppers, Blamo Bat. I'm down to, to try a, a Nick Jackman. All right. All right, we're going to go with this suggested lineup here because obviously the things I've been doing recently haven't been doing the trick, so... We're going to try switching it up, and we're still at the Emerald Diamonds. We get set to take on Detroit, and here we go. It's game time. Hope you're doing well. Daytime baseball, for real this time, I think. I always struggle with the day versus the evening at the Diamond uh, visually, but... Uh, well, you're at a channel with a blind guy, what do you expect? Brennan Lopez. Brennan Lopez stepping in against the ace... Lily Rock at the lefty. Winds, kicks, and gets us underway with a strike. Well, we'll hope that Lily can have it together in this one as she's got a 1-1 count to Lopez. That's on the ground and through. So a fair ball down the right field line is going to be a double for Lopez. In there at second base with a leadoff knock. Right number 14, Chess Keller. Chess Keller. Runner in scoring position here very early. Rocket deals. That's outside of ball one and oh. See how the new strike zone affects our ace. 2-0 now. Three and oh, and not uh, not positively to start this off, but 3-1, the crowd excited about a strike from Lily. What is this going on? A failed pickoff. Runner, I believe, stayed at second base so could have been bad there's ball four and a throw errantly into the outfield and it's one nothing Detroit the shortstop, number 36 happy ranch happy ranch is now in what a mess only one given up but uh what you want to see a swing and a miss there so Lily a throw by Molly is another messed up catch, so that's a stolen base. And that'll be dropped. So someone over at second is not doing the things that you need to do when you play the fielding. Oh, of course. Yeah, of course it's time for you to bet. Yeah, Princess Precious, the number one uh, arch enemy of the bullets as a whole. At least I had a one. Foul off, 0-2, oh, come on, get her, get her. Not quite on that one, low, a ball, 1-2. That's not there, 2-2, two, two. here it comes. 
And Precious bonk to right. If it stays fair, it's trouble. High playable? Yeah. Get out of here. Go sit down. We'll take it. 2-0. The run scores, but... Number six, Cynthia Splits. Here's Cynthia Splits. Two in here in the top of the first for Detroit. Our suggested lineup has let us down defensively as Lily is in an even 1-1 count now. Now another ball, 2-1. So this slight alteration to the strike zone present in the last update is definitely affecting our ace a little bit. All right, 3-2. Full count, big pitch. And it's a hit. Because of course it is. Oh man, Lily, Lily, Lily. Number four, Isla Chapman. Isla Chapman behind the dish today for Detroit. Still two out. And that's a strike. That's what we like to see. Can you do more of the strike thing and less of the ball thing? That would be neat. One ball, two strikes, two outs the pitch. Foul away, we'll do it again. Here it comes, outside, 2-2, two, two, two outs, and foul away. So the pit stopper is not going quietly here, another foul ball to even it, or to, there it is, a swing miss, so Lily gives up a couple of runs, top half of the first inning, and here come your bullets on offense, it's 2-0 Detroit. All right. Sophia Coffey, per Super Mega Baseball 4 zone suggestion, in the leadoff spot against whoever this pitcher is that I mispronounced and now don't remember, but 2 0. And Coffey pops that up, plenty of air under that baseball, and unfortunately she is caught out. Four out number one, and. Here comes Agro Peppers, the pink bat. Not doing him a lot of good, but this stubborn man has stuck with it. And there's a foul, so almost had a fair ball down the right field line. That thing is bonked. Right field, get back baseball, and out of here! Well, it's taken a long time for us to see a home run, but Agro Peppers and his pink bat finally deliver and put the bullets back within a run. Here's Blamo Battery. Well, that'll fire up this Emerald Diamond crowd. That's a strike. Not there, so 1-1. One, one. Battery. 2-1. And got the pitcher throw across in time. Didn't look like it got him on the floor, though, so we're okay. Comebacker is handled. Here's Sessor Jax. I think he's the one who's still got our locked-in trait. One in, two out. There's a strike. And two strikes, so one away from ending the first, which Jax does. But a run on the solo shot from Agro Peppers makes it a 2-1 ball game. We're going to the second. Third base, number 23, Spud Daniel. Spud Daniel going to lead it off against Lily, hoping she can have a better top of the second. Gives up a leadoff single to Daniel on the first pitch that kind of bounced and found its way up the infield. And here's Natalie Lovell, I believe. We'll call her Natalie. Runner aboard, nobody out. Lily deals a strike, a one. Swing and a miss. Strike two. First strikeout for Lily Rocket. There it is. And there's one out. Lobro is apparently the uh, the consensus from the announcer. So I will take that, add that to my notes up here in the booth and probably forget them. And there's one, and that's all they were going to get, but that's all right. Number 56, Renan Lopez. Renan Lopez, top of the order again for Detroit. And there is a runner at second with two gone. Lily pitches a ball low to start out Lopez at bat. 
That thing's bonked fair, and that'll end the inning. Nothing there for the pit stoppers. Bottom two, two one. And here we go. Nick Jackman in the starting nine today, only because the computer said it was a good idea, and uh, I'm not good at playing this game successfully. I'm good at playing this game for the enjoyment of the storylines and the vibes that come with it, as Nick Jackman punches that one, and unfortunately was right at a glove. Would have been a good hit. Here is Trigger Fielder going to be doing the catcher, I think, was what I heard. I had subbed Molly out, but then I hit the suggest light up button, so. Excuse me, I'm yawning. I just, uh, I haven't been doing any. I'm still in my pajamas. It's about 2.30 on a Saturday as I record this. I need one of those days, you know, and that's an out. While well, we're hitting the ball, the Detroit defense just happens to be in the way. Here's Royal Thunderer, and we'll see what she can do us for with two outs and... A big old uh, bucket and nobody on board. And she can do the thing where she hits at the left field. And that's going back. And that's hanging too long and ending the inning is what that's doing. Well, the third inning is upon us. And that means that it's time for the third inning of baseball. I don't know. I was going to come up with something better. But it didn't happen. Here's Chess Keller leading it off against Lily. Well, she put up a scoreless inning in the second. We'll see what she's got for us in the third and it's a ball and now it's a not scoreless inning because that's to left and bonking around well maybe it could still be a scoreless inning but Keller's at second to lead off the third Lily now has traffic Happy Ranch which is the only kind of ranch that there is in case you were wondering stands in Lily winds kicks fires a ball 1-0 and that's on the ground and through. Better throw it fast. Keller is breaking for the plate, and she'll have it. Three, bo uh, three, three balls and a strike. No, 3-1 the score. And here's the evil one. Lorenzo Clark getting called in. And there's another substitution as well that I couldn't read fast enough. Well, Clark, the righty. Princess just says, get out of here, and I'm doing it again, and watch me do it, and she hits a home run. Can't say I'm surprised. She is not a cool human being, uh, mostly because she doesn't play for me, and that'll crack it open a good margin. So the excitement of a home run that had put us within a run seems to have evaporated from this emerald diamond crowd. Looking up at the scoreboard, seeing a 5-1 score. Not what you want to be looking upon. That's a strike, though. Clark trying to get it done. Not quite on that pitch. Two balls, two strikes. That's not there either. Three balls, two strikes. And that's a walk. Not a commonality for Lorenzo Clark, but he's done it. Isla Chapman now, double play is in order, however, which would do us some good in the morale department, if nothing else. There's a strike. Ball, that's inside. So the smaller strike zone certainly affecting the, you know, CPU v. CPU kind of thing going on, and that's through for a knock. So this Detroit team, I mean, we've seen it as we've played them this year. Good at putting together hits, good at manufacturing runs, and then you got a Princess Precious who can just bonk the thing around. Spud Daniel. And it's our third pitcher of the inning. All right, that's great. Horse Moody. Going to see what he can do. And that's a bunt and a good one. Sacrifice does well. Runners at second and third now. Here's Natalie. Once again, well, not good. Still sacrificed if you really wanted to. She fouls the first offering away. No balls, one strike. Horse Moody wins, kicks, deals a strike. 0 2, big pitch from Moody. Popped up. That should do some helpfulness. Yeah, that'll do it. Two gone. Runners have to stay there. Santiago Lobo pitching a one runner. And uh, they're going to lead men as Horse. 
deals a strike. Pitch right to him, you know. There's a strike, 0-2. Oh, and that's not good. So we're going to go get that. And another run scores, because of course it does. Six runs in the ball game at this point for Detroit. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Horse does get the strikeout, but it's far too late as the pit snappers pick up four more runs. And now lead it six runs to one. Here's Layla Uptown, and she's got to get something going, as does the rest of this offense. Bonks one foul to start the at bat, no balls, one strike. That's a, a high one. Plane 11, hit on the ground, foul, almost had a good one down the line. One, two. Yeah, that's a strike. Layla strikes out, lean off batter retired, and. Uh, Here's Canopy Cannon. He could he could get something going for us. And we need it. We need it big time. Cannon. Takes that one. One ball, no strikes. Foul away, 1-1. One, one. Low bro. Deals a ball low. Two balls, one strike. Canopy ahead. That's where you want to be. 3-1. Foul away. Green light for Canopy. He didn't do much with it, but... Foul another one off. 3-2. Strike. Two strikeouts in the inning for Lobro. And we're back to the top of the order for Coffee. And that thing sounded like it bonked off a bed post or something. I don't know what that was about, but Coffee is ending the inning currently and does so. Well, another scoreless inning for the Bullets. We're moving to the fourth, still down by a chunk, and this team might need some reevaluation. Here's Brennan Lopez. Our defense has not been there. Our offense has not been there. And uh, up to this point, our pitching has not been there as Lopez has another fair ball. This one down the right field line and uh, no problem. He's in at second. Here's Chess Keller. What a, what a mess. That's what I was going to say, but I was yawning again. <laughs> There's a strike. One ball, two strikes, and a strikeout. So, horse does get one. It can be done as Happy Ranch saunters in. Nope, that's low. Foul the way, so one ball, one strike. Left field, going back, and that's off the wall. And they're going to have another one of those things called runs. Seven of them now for Detroit. And here she is, trouble herself. And, yep, we're going to lose. This man is a position player, folks. Pitches the ball high to Princess. No, oh, I don't. I. I told you. Ball is way out of here. Princess Precious off Miguel de Jesus, and this one's out of reach, kids. We're done. Now about the first base. Number six, Cynthia Splits. Cynthia Splits. Well, that's what I get when I let the CPU play for me. The simulation isn't really there to do certain things. I, I think I would have let Lily, I don't know what I was would have done here. I wouldn't have put Clark in that early. I would have maybe gone to a Ruby Farrell or another starter, even though they're out of position. I don't know. There's a strikeout. That's a little too late, though, to feel good. Here's Isla Chapman. So Miguel, I will give him credit. After the home run, did pick up a strikeout, so that probably feels decent. And the defense there to deal with that one. 
Well, again, another three runs, nine of them now. Nine to one your score. There's the only bright spot we've got. That big one on the scoreboard to avoid the shutout is his fault. After a solo home run in the first, that thing's popped a mile. That'll get foul. Souvenir. And that almost got through. See, this is a problem. We can't get through any hits. Agro Peppers. Here's Blamo Battery. Just feels like we're not catching the breaks we need to catch to get back in this thing as that's popped to left field. No problem for the Detroit defense to go on. Came into this game and locked into Jax. Unfortunately for him, there are two outs in the inning and limited opportunities with which to change that. But he's ahead 2-0. Now 3-0. And he'll walk on four straight. Jogs over to first base. Here's Nick Jackman. It's about time to get something moving. Outside another ball straight for Lowborough. Nick Jackman fouls one away. One ball, one strike. Here it comes. That's a strike. One, two. Two, two, two outs. Foul the way. We'll do it again. Two, two. Jackman takes it. Full count. Runner goes. Foul the way. Jacks. Another ball for uh, Nick Jackman, excuse me, walks to first. Two aboard, two gone. Now Trigger has walked us off once on a big hit. We don't have anything close to the ability for a walk off here, but a big hit certainly would not be unwelcome. One ball, one strike to Fielder. Hawks it. Oh! Oh! Well, that drumming sound means that there was a sensational play to end the inning. Spud Daniel. Oh, that one hurts, kids. I love that they put Miguel De Jesus in before they put in well. Like, that's that's my logic. I would put a random position player in before I would pitch this dude. You'll see why. Two straight balls on terrible pitches. Foul away on a lucky one. Good thing that went left of the line. Foul ball to two. Yeah, this guy, not not the material we need. That's a, a ball. I was going to say a strike, but it wasn't a strike, so why would I say that? I don't know. Wedge. Ball four. Surprise. The second baseman, number seven, Natalie Rubble. Here's Natalie, runner aboard at first, nobody out. Wow, Wedge knows how to throw a strike. I am amazed. He also knows how to give up hits, which is kind of handy, and he does it there. Good demonstration of your abilities. This guy's out of here, dude, like. Santiago Lobero. Staying in the game, and why not? He's only given up one run through several, several innings of work, and his team is ahead massively, so good for him. Can you tell I'm bitter? Wow, a strikeout. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop the train. Everybody out of the pool. What? Brennan Lopez. What a snarky laugh going on. Knows what's up. And then just beams the living heck out of the baseball and it's out of here because of course it is Detroit has destroyed us I think that's really what's going on here number 14 Chess Keller coming on for about the 91st time today one gone it's a 12 run or 11 run lead 12 one the score in this one and throw it 
Yep, thank you. All right, so they can get outs occasionally, which is neat. Here's Happy Ranch. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. All right, 0-2. Oh, Not there. All right, cool. Left foul. All right, come on. Get him. All right, throw across. Easy does it. All right, finally gets out of the inning, but guess what? They got three more runs. They have not gone scoreless except for the second inning and now lead by 11 runs. Here's Molly O'Connor. Swing and a miss. Molly gone on the strikeout. Here's Layla. There's a strike. Foul the way, no balls, two strikes to Uptown. And her purple bat. A strikeout. This team is just falling apart in all facets. Here's Canopy. Nobody on, two out. Two and O. Oh. Wow, canopy. All right, we'll take a hit. The seven people that have stuck this one out, clapping for canopy on the single. Here's Sophia Coffee, and we'll see what she can do, if anything, with a runner aboard at first and two out. She can have a strike, that's what she can start with. And two of those in a hurry, 0-2 to Sophia. Bonks it, trying to get it through, and not going to happen on that one. She ends the inning. Well, it's time for the sixth, still an 11-run lead for the pit stoppers. Number 26, Princess Precious. And here's Precious, who's already bonked a few around the yard, including at least one out of here, potentially more than that. And she's trying to do it again, but it will be gobbled up and she'll be thrown out, which probably feels good defensively. Here's Cynthia Splits. Trouble afoot in this one, folks, let me tell you. Started off looking like a good day for a ball game and ended in disaster. And that's another hit for Detroit. Now back, the catcher number four. Isla Chapman. Isla Chapman steps in. This crowd is getting annoyed. Alvin Lawrence. Alvin Lawrence is gonna come in, probably unnecessarily. I should get back into playing these games. Would you guys like the content more if I was actually playing them? Or is this the best, you know, format for you? What do you think? I'll ask that again at the end and, and in the beginning of the next one as well, just to see what you guys are, are feeling. I, I'm down either way. I just, I like the fact that because I can't see the fielding particularly, um, you know, our fielding ratings and our speed are, are what are determining those things as Spud Daniel steps in. Spud behind 0-2. Alvin. Too low. Strike. All right. Bottom of the sixth. Last chance for us, assuming we don't get a whole bunch of runs. Well, not last chance, but you know what I mean. We're running out of chances. Lucas Simon is in, as is somebody else. Agro Peppers and the Pink Bat have gotten us the only run we have. The lefty deals a strike. Agro almost had a hit. Instead, he's gone. 
Here's Blamo, and we'll see what he can do for us, if anything. Blamo left field, get back, get down, nope. Two gone. They're pretty good at the fielding thing, this Detroit club. I mean, we've hit a few on the screws that just haven't been able to get through. And uh, that's the story of this one. They've had the hits. We have not had the hits. That's down. Take your All right, a walk. We'll never say no to one of those. Here comes the red hair of Nick Jackman. One one to Nick. Now he's ahead. All right, get one and get after it. Nope. Or just take him three one. All the way, full count, big pitch here. And nope. See that? There it is, right into the glove again. Top seven, twelve one. Your score. And this one's about in the books. Now back the second baseman, number seven, Natalie Lovell. Here's Natalie Lovell. Alvin staying in. Hate to use him on a game like this. He should be saved as our closer. To right field. And that'll be an out. One going. Did they just say, oh, their third. I'm thinking of our guy. I'm like, what happened? That's a strike. Didn't Elvin Miles, I think he played for us, didn't he? Briefly. And that's an out. It's two gone in the seventh. Renan Lopez back to the top of the order. For, uh, I was going to say Pittsburgh. The Pittsburgh, or the Pit Stoppers. I, I did say it. Um, the Detroit Pit Stoppers. Bonked it, throw across is in time. So, well, yeah, but we got 11 to go. Here comes our last three outs. Alvin Lawrence going to lead it off. No, he won't. Dean Robinson. Dean Robinson going to take the bat. For the few that have stuck around, it's a 1-1 count to Dean Robinson. On the ground, throw across, Dean retired. One out here in the seventh. Here's Molly O'Connor. Molly, left field, get up, get back, get out of here, and nope. Try to get excited about little things, but there's two out now. And the final out, Layla Uptown steps to bat. Big deficit, but it'd be fun to go out with a firework or two. Layla bonks one through, says, I'm not done yet. All right, one aboard. Two outs, more than three runs to go. And here's Canopy Cannon. Well, you hope that maybe this is the spot we can, you know, at least try. Canopy. 0-1. Fouls it away. We're down to our final strike today. There it is. Canopy does it. So Layla tried to do something about it. Couldn't get it done. The pit stoppers claim the victory during our daytime contest today. Final score. 12 runs, 13 hits, no errors. One run on just three hits with an error. For the bullets, that sounds about right. A look at the big numbers who are for those of you who are interested. Uh, I don't know that we are, but by proxy, I suppose we are. The loss to uh, Lily Rocket, she went two, gave up five hits. Only three earned, one walk, two strikeouts. No homers, the ERA to 360 for her. Yeah, look at all that gray. Get out of here. 
Well, what are you gonna do? You can't win them all, that's for sure. And here we are back at the main menu. We have a manager moment to contend with. <clears throat> what happened? You are invited to a pet wedding. Who do you bring as your plus one? Well, that's a very good question. Do we bring Agro Peppers, who just hit an absolute bonker of a home run in this one? Oh, you gotta put me against Lily. I am gonna go with our ace. Miss Dependable. Lily Rocket herself on that one. As we simulate our CPU games, again, I'm gonna pose the question to you. Would you like me to go back to playing the games? Would you like me to continue the simulation in terms of this series and your enjoyment? Uh, as a viewer, what do you think? I'll leave it up to you guys and whatever kind of gets the most feedback over the next couple of weeks or so. I will probably, uh, to be fair, start it in Season 4. Um, and uh, we'll kind of go from there and see, you know, what you guys think. But, uh, yeah, feel free to let me know uh, what you think about those things. Lots of CPU games to get through. It seems like we're like the last game on the schedule. The only thing I don't understand, there's something on my TV at the moment that's having an aneurysm. Hold on one second. Hi, LG. Exit. Okay, that looks better. Um, all right, get your preview of our next one. We're going to be at home again this time. Taking on the Santa Fe Pepper Ducks. They are 10 and 7. We are now below 500 at 8 and 9. They are extreme rotation aces. So they've got the pitching by the looks of things. And we'll be facing off against me. Well, that's great. <laughs> Love to see that. Ella Vortex, who looks like she's on a positive tear of some description. She's got the Elite Four Seamer. I have the Elite Four Seamer. I also have Gets Ahead. So it's going to be a good one. I am 1-0 and with a 2-3 ERA. Ella is 2-1 and with a 2-1. On paper, not a bad matchup. Let's be real. Let's chill with the next deuce with a couple of tracks brought to you by Bank of Antarctica. Now specializing in frozen crypto assets. There's never been a better time to get in the game. This is our year. Jet Slam! <laughs> I love the uh, radio in this game. I had to pause for that. I don't know if you could hear it or not, but uh, gotta love that. We're gonna look at our player development situation off camera next time. I'm gonna look at some signing and releasing, and any news that I have, I will pass along. To you as we continue this series in Super Mega Baseball 4. If you like it, hit the like button. If you would like to subscribe, please feel free to do so. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, queries, theories, concerns, feedback on playing versus watching, um, lineup suggestions, anything of that nature, please don't hesitate to put those in the comment section down below. And we will see you to take on Santa Fe. Hope you're doing well. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll see you soon. Peace.